Here we go again after the first fantastic Vs two years ago, back again to the world of Harry Potter. We back again to the same story. They continue. We remember how they finish. Johnny Depp is a bad guy this time. This sequel is going to be good as a prequel for the ending on the trilogy. Well, it's going to be one of those. They're going to leave us. What happened? Your reviewers with me, Frankie D, Fantastic Beasts, The Crime on Greenwald. Coming up. We wait two years for this sequel. It's going to be good. Eddie Redman come back again to give you those fantastic creatures that we all love in the first one. Very colorful, funny story, all the guns coming back. And this time, Julo and as a Thumbledore, the young Thumbledore. And then we have Johnny Depp as a Grinswold, the bad guy. The guy we all hate. This is going to be a good movie. And this is back to the Harry Potter that we really like. Even so, it's not Harry Potter. But we're going back to the world of wizardry. It's going to be good. Because the story in the first one, it wasn't a big hit for a lot of people. But if you like Harry Potter, which I did. And my daughter used to love. Read the books. Watch every movie. Spend 12 hours in lane just to try to get a ticket. She loved it. I love it too. I just become a big potty head. But even so, I know that that's crazy like a lot of people are. But I like the world of Harry Potter. The first one, it was a good one. And one of the, I like, it wasn't a great film, but it was visually stunning. It was nice to going back to the same world that we all love. But in this one, is it back again? When then we are back from the United States, going back to London, and then going to Paris. Don't he had to go back home and read the, write the book? But the gun is coming back. And then Julo as a Dumbledore, the young Dumbledore. To me, I love Julo, great actor, but I don't know if he played really Dumbledore and the way we expected to do. To be honest, you don't see much of the character that we see only in Harry Potter. It's just, it's a little bit more funny and more the veneer. But he does okay, but I was expecting a little bit more similar to the, the character of Dumbledore we see in the Harry Potter saga. Any Redneck is always great. I mean, he is the movie. He just, his, his style as an actor, he just, he's funny. He got the part right on it. Yeah, I think the movie wouldn't be the same without him. And uh, this time we have a little bit darker movie. It's a little bit dark. It's not the same as the first one, very colorful, but it's funny. Well, the beautiful creature, we see the beautiful creature. Even the opening a scene in the first one, in this one, is very powerful and good. But it's darker. And we see that in Harry Potter. I think the third or the fourth, it's one of the darkest movies of all the saga. This is dark. But I think we need to do that to prepare for in two years, the third and the ending of this trilogy. Johnny Depp, a lot of people complain after the first one that he was in the movie. I think he did a great job, to be honest. Uh, he haven't done a good movie in a long time with all the pirates and all that kind of stuff that he does. This one, he got it right in the needle there. He just Got it right perfect as a Grindelwald. Really, he's, you hate the guy, but he's well tailored, well done. And I think 
Raynette and him, I just are the two best part of the movies. And uh, and what's gonna come in the third one, I think, in the ending, you had the hook. You know it's gonna be a hook because you know the third one is the trilogy, so you know it's not gonna end the story in the second one. It's darker. The special effects are amazing, like the first one, it may be better. The creatures are viewed a few and more, a few new creatures, and they are great. The old one's still there, and uh, all the guns coming back from this first one to this one. And uh, there are funny moments, but not that many funny moments, but like in the first one, but I think they are in the right moment. Again, this is darker. Not everybody's going to like it. If you like the first one, you have to see this one. If you don't, if you're not a fan of Harry Potter, don't go and see it because you don't gonna like it. In my opinion, as a sequel, even so it's darker, even so this, it go a little bit too many stories around. There are too many jumping stories, too many things going on. But even so, the basic and the essence of the world of wizard is there. And uh, to me, it's a must go, guys. If you like Harry Potter, if you like the first one, you won't be disappointed. No many critics, and I read no reviews, but I read that some buzz that no everybody liked this movie. The same happened with the first one. And you know what? A lot of people didn't like a lot of the Harry Potters too. So forgive me the critics. If you're a Potterhead, you're going to see this movie. If you like the first one, you're going to enjoy this movie. Again, it's going to be darker, but to me, it's a must go. You're going to enjoy it. I enjoy it perfectly. I didn't even watch how long it is. It's two hours and 40 minutes. It's enjoyable. I, I got to tell you the truth. I think the third one is going to be up in two years. It's going to be amazing. Uh, I, the cinematography and the casting is perfect in this one. The uh, set design, it looks so beautiful. Uh, the directing it was click, perfect, not too fast, not too slow. The special effects and the special uh, CGI's, they were done in the right tone and the camera was moving the right way. And again, this is a must go. Guys, give it a try. You're gonna love this movie. I hope you do. And if you do, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down and thank you for coming. I hope you like what I did. Until the next time, enjoy your movies. Support your movie theater. Support your TV shows. Support your video games. And support me if you can. My face with you on this side. My other reviews of movies and TV shows on this side. Until the next time. Ciao.